everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so, so excited to share with you today my Motrum Brissa in the color taupe and my September setup. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alexis. I make planning and lifestyle content related to how you can live pretty and productive. I am so excited you're here. It would mean a lot to me if you could like, comment, even share, or consider subscribing to my channel. Um, as I really enjoy sharing my setups and my productivity tips as they relate to living productive and pretty. Um, as a side note, um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle on the screen. I share behind the scenes productivity tips, um, shots of my planner and its best angles and all of that fun stuff over on Instagram at Lexi.Loren. Um, but let's get back to the Motrum Brissa. This is the Motrum Brissa in the pocket size in the color taupe. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color for, t for fall. Um, so I'm really, really excited to show you inside of here and just how I've set it up and how I'm using it. Um, so on this left side, this is their updated design um, as of August 15th. Um, they've switched over to this one. You can still find the slated one, I believe, on Amazon and some back stock that they have, but this is their new design, um, which I'm really, really liking. It's a little bit less bulky, but the planner itself is still chunky. Um, I don't have anything here. I'm thinking of making some more task cards, probably like um, a checkings, a savings, um, just to have the balances on and like some of the account information perhaps and like a gold card or something, but I haven't really thought of it. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Um, but I also have my cards in the back of here, which I won't take out for privacy. Um, and I do um, have a few coins and spare change in this pocket. Um, but yeah, that is all for this little pocket. In the back of this planner, I do have um, a like quote dashboard and one of my dashboards got stuck in the laminator so I was trying to straighten it out by keeping it in there. Um, but yeah, back to the inner binder. I just have this, I guess it was a freebie wallpaper from Plop and Paper and I've sort of shrunk it down so that it's able to fit in this pocket. I have some content or what I call content cards. Um, it's basically like a business card and a task card and I've sort of put them together, but it's just tabbed and I have sort of things I do for school and my color coding key, a YouTube content card, and then one for Instagram as well. On this leather flyleaf, I just have this uni jet stream and I've put a pilot or no not a pilot a pentel energel refill in 0.3 in the barrel it fits which is amazing and i love the rubber cushion grip because um, i have a heavy right hand um, but in this i just on the back of this flyleaf i just have sort of some more content cards um, with like a today an AM and a PM schedule. And then we get into the fun stuff, the actual contents of the binder. So for this binder, I wanted to do a luxury or like women empowerment, boss women, girl boss type vibe. And so I made these dividers and put corresponding quotes, the same ones that I had in my other set, um, but yeah. And that is what I did for this setup. I think it goes great with the taupe. It's very neutral. Um, and I'm so, so excited to have these new dividers. I haven't changed my dividers in, I want to say, like two years. Um, so I was happy that I found time to make these. Um, so yeah, this is just all of the little photos that I liked. Um, and then I just have quotes, um, mainly from Pinterest, that I've sort of stuck on the back. That I loved like she remembered who she was and like game changed and I just thought it kind of went with my boss woman vibe um, but this is a year at a glance from peanuts planner co which is very nice I've seen people use stickers um, on these I just kind of use it for reference so I haven't 
stuck anything on it. This is my word for 2020 is mindfulness, um, especially right now, just in the time that we're in. I think it's really important to be mindful. Um, so I have that word. And then this is just my inbox. Um, Aria Plans has a very good video on the inbox and sort of the origin story of it and how she uses hers. But basically, I'm using mine for any high level tasks that don't have a specific day and that I have to do. Um, all of these have been completed. I just haven't um, went through and um, highlighted them. But yeah, this is also a bowless checklist from Annie Klein Printables. Um, if you're looking for that, this is just one of those photos blown up with corresponding quotes on the back. And then I made all of these tabs along with my um, content cards. I made the content cards starting in July, but I have had um, these dividers for a while. Um, and it's just, they're just nice and very basic. Um, this one says diary. So I have just my monthly calendar and I just put high level appointments and such. I have a video explaining sort of how I use my months, my weeks, and my days. So I'll link them in the cards. But just very high level stuff like application dates, paydays, etc. Um, and yeah, we're not in August anymore. So I guess I should go to September, but I really have not filled this out. Um, but I did want to get this video up for you guys. Um, but yeah. I just have the whole year. Um, it's nice to look back on. Um, this is a freebie from Elmon Paper Co, um, which I really love the saying on here, messy but good, and I think, you know, we're all messy, but we all have equally as much good in us, and I think it's just an important reminder, and I like sort of, you know, dividing my planner um, using dashboards or section covers. Um, so yeah, this is just a yearly pullout from Peanuts Planner Co. comes in her yearly bundle. And I just sort of have just, um, my university has a, um, you know, calendar that they give out and it just has some key dates. So I've just entered those dates into this and I'm using that for that purpose. Um, and I wasn't in classes, um, for probably like the first half of the year. So that's why it's blank. Um, I use this monthly pullout, um, to keep track of monthly highlights. I haven't done August yet, um, but I just do like anything that happened, I sort of, you know, will go and fill it in, um, like hitting a certain follower count or, you know, little quirky things like that to sort of just remind myself and keep myself grounded about sort of the things that have happened that month. This is another photo dashboard that I made. And I just have my weekly. I took most of my weeks for August out. If you haven't seen that flip through, I will link that video as well. Um, but yeah, I um, am starting to use this um, pull out or fold out insert from Peanuts Planner Co. It is very, very new. Um, however, it's a great insert. Um, I love vertical. I missed it. So I'm excited to have this and be using this for this month. Um, and this is all within my overview section, if I didn't point that out. And I mispunched this divider, so I'm cut it in half, but it sort of works because I'm able to sort of just put it right on the week. My next divider um, says today, and this is my daily section. So I just have, you know, my daily. I also flip through my dailies from August, if you're interested to see sort of which ones I use and how I use them. I've been trying to flip between different inserts um, just to find what works. And sometimes you want a different insert um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You just print some, that's why I love printables. Um, so this is a printable from Simple and Trendy Co. And I love her inserts, they're just great. This is another divider that says list on it. Um, and I just have sort of my planning routine, which I would, maybe people would be interested in seeing just how I sort of have my planning routine. I've been planning since 2014. 
um, so I kind of know what I like. Uh, I've been minimal or functionally planning since 2017. Um, so yeah, I just have this and I made this in Word and just sort of um, shrunk it down, but it has like my intention, my system, all of my sections, um, and what's in them. Yeah. And then I have sort of my level 10 life, but I've sort of adjusted it to Alexis and her productivity. Um, and I just didn't want to do level 10 life. I wanted to do sort of do's and don'ts for every area of my life. Um, so I have like, you know, I want to eat healthy, unrefined foods every day. I want to keep a mind, a fresh mind. I want to take my daily supplements. And then things I don't want to do are remain in situations that are disordered and stressful. Um, push your work time to the limit of exhaustion. You know, just things that I don't want to do. Financial do's and don'ts. Um, relationship do's and don'ts. Personal development do's and don'ts. Academic do's and don'ts. Career do's and don'ts. And things like that. Then I have my personal section. And I just have some journaling inserts. I have not started using these, but they have. It was in the beginning of the year, but just with quarantine and everything, they've sort of flow, flown off the handle. Um, but I am happy to get back to these. And then this is a freebie from EO Edits, and I've just attached an Avery label to it. I love these. Um, I have so many of them, but I have not used them um, a lot, but I've had this little dashboard with um, just a club that I'm heavily involved in on campus at my university that was started by some of my peers and I have a photo of just our little like team um, photo and I just like to keep it in here because it reminds me of this day and it was positive and I loved it and I just have a mood and pain tracker this is from peanuts planner how it comes with her yearly bundle um, you can use it in a variety of different ways. I've seen people track their cycle, track car payments, everything um, on here. I keep my period or my cycle on this um, pulled out, and then I just keep a small goal um, on the back just to fully use this insert. And I break it down into sub goals and then fill them in completed and then this is my workout or exercise tracker which I've been slacking on filling out um, but hopefully it gets utilized more and so this is my VIP section which has my password so I will not be showing any of this information but it is just a lined piece of paper from Peanuts Planner Co printed a couple of times and a cover that I stole from another any plans insert um, but I just didn't print the insert to the inside of it this is another section cover with quotes. This tab is grind. This is my school section. I made this illustration and then I shrunk it down to pocket size. Um, if you're interested in possibly purchasing illustrations, let me know. I've been always thought of like making a little illustration shop, but I didn't know how well received it would be. Um, but I just have this little phrase that my best friend always says to me, what would Alexis Loren do? And um, I just like to think of my higher self and show up for her. And it kind of goes with my girl boss theme. So I love it. And then this is my school schedule. Um, just a very high level overview and some of the office hours and the times that the classes meet. This is a modified Peanuts Modern Co. insert. It comes with a left-hand panel that has um, boxes, I'll link it down below for sure, um, at least for shop, but I just went ahead and printed the first page of that insert without printing the second page which has those boxes. So I'm able to just have this and have it be blank on the other side and there's a spare one without any writing. Then this is another um, illustration that I made and it says makeup is art, beauty is spirit and I love it and it sort of divides um, my subsection which is my calendar spreads. Um, I went ahead and just gave every class a color and then I've also put um, 
just one thing sort of do um, on here. And then I'm thinking of using this as a lesson planner um, and just putting a dot for every color down the side and um, using this to track what we're doing in class and then when it's done highlighting it. And then this is just a list, some extra like, note pages from Moturn, and I just have a list of some things I want my professor to go over from last semester, um, but I didn't use it, the insert up completely, so I wanted to keep using it. Um, I've debated putting an extra calendar in here. I don't know because I already use my daily spreads, um, and it just might be too much. Um, but if I do change it, I'll be sure to um, showcase it. Um, and then I just have a socialite tab, and this has just planner hashtags, um, some video ideas, and then a very high level um, breakdown of like what I hope to be posting and what my mission statement is, and blah blah blah. Um, more personal brand related Alexis Lorenz stuff on a simple and trendy co insert, which I just have here, and I just have like schedule, brain down, content, etc. And then this is my inspo AF section. I just have this from Ayumi Plans. It is a um, freebie from her Instagram. And I just have my three to six month goals, my yearly goals, my five year goals, and then my 10 years to lifetime goals. And I made these inserts um, yeah, myself and I love them. Um, and then here is another tab and it says girl gang and i went and got these contact info freebies from somebody if i remember i will link it and then i also have a peanuts planner co half box list and that is what i plan to use before i found these um, but now that i have these um, you know you just always run into people people give you their business cards people are writing down information on sticky notes and I'm always like keeping them and I just you know want to have just a list of like you know high level priority contacts if ever I may need them like you know advisors things like that um and this is another photo dashboard or section cover with some quotes on the back these are like two of my favorites um and this just says moolah and um, this is just, I just have a check register insert. So every purchase I spend, I subtract the amount. And then I have one for my savings account. And then I have a budgeting thing that I never followed through with. I think I did it in January, but that was it. Um, and this is just a section cover from Annie Plans again. Um, and then I have a hustle um, divider and another thing from any plans this is another school section but it's more related to like degree confirmation um so i just have all of the classes that i need to take um and when i take them i highlight them and then this is a you know list of courses for the minor and a list of courses for medical school and then i just have a running list of everything i own that's in my dorm um, and it sparks things like if I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, this is what I'm going to buy. And, just have it. Um, and then this is a Loren section. Um, so everything related to me. So I just have my Instagram and the presets I use and things and then my YouTube. Um, and then just a when I post schedule, but I'm not really using that anymore. Um, and then I just have a categorized list insert from Peanuts Planner Co. and I'm using that to track um, just my inserts that I own, etc. My hair tracker when I go to my hair appointments, my shopping list and planner wish list which is old and adds a planner list and a updated planner wish list which includes a lot of more term. Um, I'm hoping this for um, a Lux and maybe an A5. Um, and there are new releases, but you know, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. I didn't previously mention a lot of my inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is just her two column list insert. And then I have this, 
and then I just have a little um, clear pocket that came with my Filofax and I have a stencil that I cut in half from a very very old Michaels craft store line um, but it's like my favorite one for the heart and the hexagon and just I love stencils um, very inexpensive way to add decor and then I just have this little um, end section um, to dress some clothes and I just like this one is my favorite and it says greatness and madness are next doors neighbors and they often borrow each other's sugar and then I just have my if lost and found cards or content cards rather my inbox with some like more test card esque um, with some sticky fly leaves of just um, you know some things that I want to do I haven't written on the other ones then this grind card which I'm you know has been very useful in transitioning back to school and then this um, self care or inspo card um, and then my business card for school with just my major and my minor on it and my GPA and other things I have. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I enjoyed making this video and I will see you in my next one. If you have any feedback or any comments, always leave um, comments down below. I love reading you guys' comments. They're always so positive and I really love that. As well, follow me on Instagram. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have a great day.